Now, what in the carnival is going on here? So for today's disgusting topic, we're going to talk about bed bugs. On Believe It or Not, a somewhat newer carnival cruise ship. I have a video clip. I have a statement from the family that allegedly went through this horrible and disgusting situation. But just let all of you know, I have more videos coming up, some more carnival situations that technically is not Carnival Cruise Line's fault as a whole. However, we got to discuss these matters. I also want to give a warning to all of you that are a little squeamish and well, afraid of bugs. This might not be the video for you. It's very uh, disgusting. And just a reminder, I'm currently on the British line p and I have videos coming up. Unfortunately, today we got some inclement weather and we had to miss our first port of call. But Wi-Fi permitting, I want to have my videos up on this ship as soon as possible. Ooh. Absolutely disgusting. Tons of bed bugs. Yeah, probably in your stuff. Gross. Mm, yeah, so gross is an understatement to say the least. Now, this situation allegedly recently took place on board the Carnival Horizon. This ship is currently sailing out of Miami, launched in the year 2017, and holds 4,000 passengers. Now, along with the short video clip, I also have some very disturbing photos to show all of you fine folk, detailing and outlining the bites that were allegedly sustained here, as well as a statement from the family via Facebook that I'm gonna read to all of you, kind of giving a little bit more context on the entire situation that allegedly took place. By the way, I say allegedly because should this go to court between the passengers, the family that were on board the Horizon, as well as Carnival, I personally don't want to get involved and end up being in the brig, walking the plank, or losing all of my money. Now, via Facebook, the post reads, my wife, three kids, and I started noticing bites all over after several days of being on the ship, which is, of course, Carnival Horizon. We eventually looked at the bed to find tons of bed bugs crawling from behind the headboard. My wife got the worst of it and had severe allergic reaction to the dozens of bites. She had to be seen by medical staff three different times. The bugs were confirmed and we switched rooms. However, when asked for documentation of the confirmation and findings, all staff refused and treated us very poorly like we had done something wrong. We spent the last couple days of the cruise being sent all over the ship. We were being told others can help us just to be sent right back and no one helped at all. This ruined our entire vacation. Yeah, I believe it. And now we have to worry about taking the bugs back with us. The ship doctor even told us he received no reports of the findings in the room after requesting it. He said it was obvious to him things were just being swept under the rug. They wanted no legal responsibility for this whatsoever. This is our fifth Carnival Cruise in the last year, but after this, this will be our last. It will be our last, rather. My wife and I are both teachers and not looking for a free ride, but they were very rude and disrespectful. They constantly lied to us, and when we requested documentation of their findings, which they never did provide as promised, the $200 credit they gave us for our three rooms, $15,000 in total in cruise expenses is not acceptable, not to mention the misery caused by by extreme constant itching. All I gotta say to that is, wow, if this is true, yes, Carnival has some explaining to do. Now, I'll show you the images right up here just so you can see exactly what we're working with. It is extremely horrific, and you see the pictures of the bed bugs as well. Now, for those that have never seen bed bugs before, here is an actual image of what bed bugs look like, and it does look somewhat similar to that. If you saw in the clip there, there was one moving, so they didn't appear to be dead. Just breaking all of this down, she's saying that they spent allegedly $15,000 on three rooms, which is not out of the realm of possibilities, especially when you consider people are waiting years to go on these cruise ships, and, well, they're spending a lot of money, so naturally they want the best service possible. Even if it's not a luxury line, you still want to be treated well on board a cruise ship and not have to deal with things like bed bugs. Now, there have been situations similar to this in the past, and not just with Carnival, Royal Caribbean, and NCL in the past as well. And, well, I will say, I personally would not blame the cruise line as a whole, more so the hotel staff and management. I understand full well that whenever a cruise ship, and you all do it too, whenever a cruise ship returns to port after dropping off some passengers, they pick up some more that very same day, which causes a very quick turnaround time. The thing about Carnival and all the other mainstream cruise lines, like the big three, be it Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, and the Carnival, of course, looped into all of that, you're talking about thousands and thousands of passengers on a ship that have to get off, and then thousands get ready to get on board, and... Well, seemingly just a few hours for the room stewards, which are limited in time, possibly limited in staff as well, to now 
now have to go in and reach under every nook and cranny and try to clean everything as quickly as possible. To be clear, I'm not making an excuse for this by any means. This should not even be an issue at all. All I'm simply saying is with the quick turnaround time, it is likely that something's is simply going to be missed. As somebody that cruises a lot, especially with Carnival, I cruise quite a bit with Carnival. There's times I've been on ships, especially albeit older ships, older than the Carnival Horizon, that, well, when you get on board, there's dust all over the desk and telephone, and it's not exactly a vacation-like environment. However, I do understand that there's just a busy schedule, and I'm not saying there's an excuse for it, but I understand how and why and when these types of incidents can occur. Nevertheless, this is absolutely sick, and the fact that Carnival, if this is true, allegedly trying to kind of throw all this under the rug and pretend it never happened should not be a thing. If I were the family, I'd take all of my information, I'd try to get a statement from the doctor that also kind of believed that Carnival's trying to sweep this under the rug as well, and go ahead and take it to court. Go get your money, your guap, your moolah, even some more board credit because two hundred dollars in the grand scheme of things especially when they say they supposedly spent fifteen thousand dollars is absolute peanuts and well of course I, even if it were me i would say my vacation has been ruined as well this is disgusting i can't even imagine seeing something like that and i can understand them saying they would never cruise with carnival again well i love carnival so maybe after a situation like this maybe only newer ships newer than the carnival horizon i'd only go on celebration and mardi gras moving forward for me personally if i was in a situation like that and of course after the little giblets got resolved in court or if, of course, Carnival decided to settle before we got to that point as well. Now, just so we're clear as well, this is not a cruise ship phenomenon. This doesn't only occur on cruise ships. As much as people are probably going to try to paint this picture or they're going to say it's just a Carnival thing, whatever. Look, bed bugs can be found anywhere. And they're saying they found it under the headboard. I'm not exactly sure because I've never been a room store. I have friends that are room stores. I never ask these type of questions. I don't know if checking and cleaning under the headboard is part of the protocol for when they do their cleaning and sanitation for every single cruise. I'm not exactly sure. So maybe that just kind of got missed. Not making an excuse for it. However, it could be one of those situations. Nevertheless, it is still disturbing. It's disgusting. And if that were me, yes, I would want potentially a refund. I would want to be moved to another room. And I would want an apology from Carnival because if I were to see something like that, just imagine Imagine the paranoia. You see this family now, they are worried that they are going to take those bed bugs and take them back home and uh, it's not going to be a pretty picture. I can see it clear as day already. People are going to go down the rabbit hole with this one. People that are completely against Carnival, they're going to say, well, this is why I'm never sailing with Carnival again. I do understand to some degree. Personally, I love Carnival. I'm not trying to push anybody away with this video here. Just putting out content that I think you guys are going to find interesting or valuable to some degree or maybe even a little entertaining. However, on the flip side of that, people that are completely for Carnival, the carnies, if you will, the very important fun people, they either are going to say that that family maybe they planted their spies. They planted these bed bugs they are actually spies for royal caribbean or the mafia shipping company who knows i don't think that's the case and don't come at me i'm just the the messenger if you will people are going to shoot the messenger to say that i'm just trying to spread hate and fear amongst the carnival people out there in carnival cruise lines it's not the case guys so just uh please get that out of your head moral of the story here always 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 check your rooms upon arrival check the bed check the bathroom anything that's going to give you a little bit of a disgusted feel make sure you check your rooms as thorough as possible even your suites whenever you arrive make sure everything is up to standard by your definition of it for carnival if this is true then and let's say headboards are not part of your process when it comes to cleaning and double checking before new passengers arrive maybe part that part of your protocol or something i, I don't know but of course let me know your thoughts on this guy in the comment section below on this disturbing topic i do have more videos coming up hit that like button on your way out subscribe if you haven't already as usual know that i love and appreciate every single one of you i'll see you later take it easy